What up, YouTube? DJ2020 in the game. I'm just here to explain uh, who is the DJ2020 and what my channel is about. I'm just I'm I'm just your typical average dude. I've been in the game for like 30 years. I do what I gotta do. You know what I'm saying? I've had record deals, like five or six of those. I make beats. I mean, you see my equipment. I got my accomplishments chilling on the side. Um, and these are things I do. I'm a DJ. I got my DJ set. I'm also into photography and videography. What I'm doing, I'm trying to um, build a network. I'm trying to build a show. I mean, it's kind of late. When I come in the game, because a lot of the teens got this sold up, but I don't never believe that you, you you're too old to, as I say, set it off. You know what I'm saying? I've done a lot. You know, like I said, I've had like five or six record deals. Big up to G Street. Big up to Island Records. I mean, I came out on that. Like that was worldwide for me to come out on G Street and Island Records because that was the first real like borderline major deal it became major when we moved from G Street to the mother label which was Island that's when we dropped that album let me explain but then you know the dude I was dealing with I guess I'm not gonna say his loyalty wasn't there but he just didn't want to do it no more I, I guess the reconcilable differences with the label he didn't want to deal with that label anymore so the only way was to just dead the deal, but the problem with him dead in the deal was I was part of the package of the deal. At that time, I was just the DJ, and it wasn't like I really signed the contract. I signed the contract with him, but I signed under him. You know what I mean? Because I was just the DJ. It was Mr. Me and DJ 2020, so I was just the DJ. But I, I grew up loving music. I always loved music. My mother used to have these parties at her house. And I used to always be the DJ. I would come out. You remember the little adapters that, that hold up the 45s? I used to put the records on that. But I would sit there and it's like I was developing a playlist, you know. I would look at all the 45s. I mean, she had like, damn. She had a lot of 45s. You understand what I'm saying? I'm talking about stacks of 45s. Same way I collect records. used to collect records in crates. Now, I deal with the, the digital playlist and all that. The same way, I mean, she had a lot of them, but I used to run through them because it was nothing but adults. And the only reason I did that because I wanted to be part of the party, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, when adults come over as a youngster, you know, your parents don't want you out there. They smoking, they drinking, whatever they do, they partying like adults. So they didn't want me and my brother out there, you know what I'm saying? So I used to just find an excuse. Because we used to try to shit. We used to try to come out and clean up and, and get out of here. You know what I mean? Like, so, and I remember them days sitting in the room with just me and my brother and we listening to music and we want to be a part of that. So, I'm always, as smart as I am, that's who DJ 2020 is. I'm, I'm smart. I, I'm a highly intelligent, innovative, technical person. I like gadgets. I like to mess with gadgets. And like I said, so she had this record player. I'll go out there, I'll put my playlists up, going through the 45s, and I would watch the people dance, but then I became part of the party. I mean, I ate and everything. I had food, all that. I love to produce. I love to make beats. That's my thing. I, I'm, a, I'm a murder on beats. I mean, we talking about Mike Will made this. You know what I'm saying? I, I make beats. I do what I do. When we first got with G Street, it was kind of hard because the partner I was with, he wanted to make beats too. I don't understand how you transform to rapper to producer, but then I can't say that because in my upbringing, who is DJ 2020? In my upbringing, I was a rapper. I was Shakespeare. They used to call me MC Shakespeare. Big up to my man Steve. He used to make a dance called Do the Shakespeare. I can't forget that. But like I said, I was Shakespeare and Remember the basement parties, the parties under the church and stuff like that. Cause I used to rock with my man DJ Putt Putt, you know, back in back in eighties. You know, he was the DJ of the block. Uh, big up to Brook Ave, big up to St. Anne's. That's where I come from. I'm from the South Bronx, born and bred. You know what I mean? I'm from the South Bronx, so 
a lot was going on in the 80s and the 70s and the 90s. Hip hop was being birthed. I was there. Uh, B Boy Records was right around the corner from me. Rock Candy Music. I always wanted to get down with them. My man Putt Putt was down with them. But like I said, he was the DJ of the block. So he was who I caught. But I caught him as an MC. I was a rapper. You understand what I'm saying? I like to rhyme. I was writing things because I thought I was a poet. But then I also draw because I had. If you remember the old. Is this for my old heads? If you remember the old um, book, it's a big book. It's about this thick. It's about this thick. And it had all the superheroes in it, but it was a sketchbook. It would show you from egg to line segment how to draw superheroes, how to make them look like they brolic and muscles and then the finish off. I had that book because a friend of mine's, uh, of my mother's, you know, that was her boyfriend at the time. Um, I guess on some real shit, <coughs> excuse me, on some real shit, he bought me that book to keep me out of day face because, you know, he wanted to be with my moms and they want to have chill time. And my mom was the type of moms that she was our friend. I'm talking about for real. She was like really our friend because she didn't let us go outside. We were latchkey kids and we stayed home a lot and and we stayed home not because we wanted to stay home it's because she didn't trust the streets there was a lot going on in the streets and she ain't want us in the streets so her boyfriend at that time you know he, he tried to entertain me my brother he would give us money anything you know to keep us out the way keep us busy you know i forgot what my brother got i don't know what my brother got but i know i got this book and i was drawing superheroes so Big up to Roscoe for that because that made me the artist I am today down to the point that I do graphic arts. You know what I'm saying? Because he instilled that artist thing in me uh, drawing early. But still and then at that time, like I said, I was doing music. So I was already doing music. Then I liked the poetry. And I'm talking about, you know, that, 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 that crying poetry. I liked it, that poetry because I actually felt... How people was feeling when they wrote it or they read it out. You know what I'm saying? So, I was into that too. Uh, call me a nerd. I don't care. I, you, I used to be a nerd. I sit there. I had the bell bottom play. I mean, look at this picture. I, could, I used to be a nerd. I used to be a nerd. Thick Coke out of glasses like I got now. My man Big Sean used to always get at my man dad. You know what I'm saying? He used to always get at me. Tell me my... My my glasses could destroy a meatloaf, break the side of a mountain. I didn't hurt it all. I heard I was the reason why the Coke bottle was so thick for the soda. But you know what? I ran with that. <laughs> I ran with that. Memories. That's crazy. But I ran with that. I ran with that. Because at the end of the day, that was my man, Big Sean. That was my man. That what I love him. I love him. I love him to death. Even though we don't see each other like that. I love him to death. Who is DJ 2020? Um, I'm a, I'm a very curious person, call me nosy, whatever you want, but I like to know stuff. I like to know everything. I like to know what's going on around me. You know what I mean? That's, that's me. That's me. I can't be out of the loop because if I'm out of the loop, then I feel lost. Once I feel lost, I get lazy. I don't want to do nothing because I'm stuck on this. You ever been like that where you just stuck on this thing? And that's me. That's my life till this day. I stay stuck on things. If I don't know, I fear the unknown. But I don't fear the unknown like I told you about the roller coaster. I could fear it all I want. But will I try it? I got no problem with trying anything. You know what I'm saying? My first fight was a trial and error. But you know what? I had to do it. That's why I am the way I am today. I can't beat everybody. I'm not knockout king. I don't hold no titles, no WWEs, UF, UFCs. I don't hold none of that. But it, it, but I don't fear nobody but God. You understand? I don't fear anybody. I love everybody. I hate nobody. That's who DJ 2020 is. I like to work. I like to do things for people. I don't look for nothing in return. That's not how I get down. I don't look for nothing in return because I feel God blessed me with a talent. And 
when you get a blessing from God, like a talent, you're supposed to share that. I mean, if there's any monetary value, that's going to come. Like I always tell people, money going to knock on your door. If it's time for you to get money, it's going to knock on your door. You know what I'm saying? You can chase it all you want. I keep telling people, you're not guaranteed when you chase. But then I give you points because you're putting in work, but you're not guaranteed if you chase money. Buddy, if you want buddy to come to you, the same goals, if you build it, they will come. And... That's what I did with me. Till this day, till this day, my 47th year in life, I'm still building me. I'm still building my brand. I'm still building my product. I'm, I, I'm building. I'm building. I got a manhole that people would love. Manhole. <laughs> I got a man cave that people would love. Because I got everything here. I got my official DJ set over here. I got, look, I got all the work, and this is on my own, no record company, on my own, all my accomplishment. This is all work I've been doing. I've been doing. This is the only work right here that I had a record deal, Mr. Me in 2020. That's the only one that I really had a record deal for. And it wasn't, and, 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 and I know the haters. Y'all gonna sit back. And y'all gonna say, oh, because you whack or you not, you irrelevant. 